Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to determine the intervals where the function is increasing or decreasing. Let f be a function that is continuous on a closed interval AB and differentiable on the open interval AB. Select a number between a b, substitute into f prime. If you get a positive number, then f is increasing. So you have a function like this or like this. For the value of x in a b, if you substitute into f prime and you get a negative number, then f is decreasing. So the function is either like this or like this. Finally, if you substitute a number in an interval a b into f prime and you get 0 then the function is a constant example determine the intervals where the following functions are increasing or decreasing a fx is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 first we need to find the critical point so Find the derivative of f, it is equal to 2x minus 4, let it be 0. So for x, we have 2x equal to 4, so x equal to 4 over 2 equal to 2. So this is the critical point. Now we have to create a table. We have two here. So F prime and F. We need to choose one number. For example, 0. Substitute into f prime, which is this one. You get 2 times 0 is 0 minus 4. The answer is minus 4. So here you get a negative number. According to this table, if f prime is negative, f is decreasing. So from negative infinity to 2, f is decreasing. Next, you need to choose one number greater than 2. For example, 5. Substitute into x in f prime. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 4 is equal to positive 2. You only need the sign. So in here, f is increasing. Example B. We need to determine the intervals where fx equal x cubed minus 3x plus 2 is increasing or decreasing. First, find the critical point. The derivative of f is equal to 3x square minus 3 equal to 0. So you have 3x square equal to 3. x square equal to 1 because we divide by 3 on both sides. 
So x is equal to plus minus 1 because the power is an even number. We have two critical points x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 1. Now we need to draw the table. We have two critical points minus 1 and 1. F prime and F. Choose a number that is less than minus 1. For example, minus 2. 3 times minus 2 square is equal to 12. Minus 3, it is a positive number. So the function is increasing. Choose a number between minus 1 and 1. For example, 0. Substitute into x in f prime, we get the 3 times 0 minus 3 equal to minus 3, a negative number. So the function is decreasing between minus 1 and 1. Finally, choose a number greater than 1. For example, 2. Substitute into x in f prime. 2 square is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 3 is a positive number. You only need the sign. So the function is increasing. Example C. In example C, we have a rational function. First, find the derivative of f, f prime x equal to, one is u, another one is v, so the formula is v u prime minus u v prime, everything divided by v square, so this is equal to, v is x plus 2, u prime is 1 minus x minus 1 v prime is 1 everything divide by x plus 2 square this one is equal to x minus x is 0 2 minus minus 1 is 3 3 over x plus 2 square you cannot find x where f prime x is equal to 0. f prime x does not exist when x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 2. This is our only one critical point. So, now we draw the table. Only one critical point, which is minus 2. We have f prime and f. Select a number that is less than minus 2. For example, minus 3. Substitute into f prime. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Square, you get a positive. 3 divided by a positive number is positive. So the function is increasing between minus infinity minus 2. For interval minus 2 infinity, select a number that is greater than minus 2. For example, 0. If we substitute into x in f prime, 0 plus 2 
is equal to 2, 2 square equal to 4. 3 divided by 4, you get a positive number. So, the function also increase in the interval of minus 2 infinity.